I'm Tom Craven, the Forest Supervisor for Duke Forest. One of the major projects we've been working on over the last year is the Duke Forest Inventory. A forest inventory is a systematic collection of data from the trees and plants in the forest that we can use to make assessments and perform analyses. For the Duke Forest Inventory, we use data to generate four main metrics. Volume estimates, or how much wood is growing in different types of forest stands. Monetary estimates, or how much that wood is worth. Growth estimates, how fast the trees are adding more wood. And finally, regeneration estimates, or how much of what types of trees do we see growing up to become the next forest. We can use this information to understand the big picture of the status of our forest resources, and we need it to implement our timber management program. Ultimately, we'll know how much wood is growing in the forest, which stands are growing vigorously and which stands are declining, and how stands of different ages and composition are distributed across the forest. Using this information, we refine our management plans to ensure we continue to responsibly and sustainably take care of the resource now and into the future. For this iteration of the Duke Forest Inventory, we implemented a new methodology known as a Continuous Forest Inventory, or CFI. A CFI requires the installation of permanent plots across the forest. We have installed and collected data from 145 permanent plots and an additional 67 temporary plots. In the end, Duke Forest staff and interns measured over 3,600 mature trees and thousands more that were less than 6 inches in diameter. We also collected data to assess deer browse and invasive plant species. To crunch the numbers, we've used multiple software tools. First, we did an analysis that allows us to more directly compare the estimates from this inventory to past inventories. Now, we're in the process of inputting our forest data into a model produced by the U.S. Forest Service that will generate volume and growth estimates. The advantage to using this model, called the Forest Vegetation Simulator, is that we can use it to build a model of volume and growth that is specific to Duke Forest. As we revisit and resample a subset of the plots every couple of years, we can use this information to continually refine the model. As a teaching and research forest, nothing is more satisfying than seeing the data collected from the forest used by students and researchers to advance our understanding of the natural world. We're excited that the data from this inventory is already being utilized by a Nicholas School master's student to evaluate ways to optimize our timber management program, and a project by the Conservation Fund to use the International Space Station-based JEDI ecosystem LIDAR data to better characterize forest structure. The Duke Forest Inventory is fundamental to our management planning and instrumental to our sustainable timber management program. Our team is proud to demonstrate sustainable forest management across the Duke Forest and to have the science, data, and professional expertise to support our management decisions.